Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week beginning May, or Monday, 17th to the 23rd of May, 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome too. So we are just going to begin here. Just got to pause for a second. I'm back. <laughs> I just had to go and shut my screen door. If you've got the front door open, so let's um, it's nice and cool. And um, I had to shut the screen door because bugs start flying and <laughs> it's getting dark. Anyway, I've got number 29, or I've got, you've got number 29, Giraffe Spirit, See the Big Picture. Love that. Giraffe is my favourite animal in the world. And um, it is. They can see the bigger picture. From that height, you know, they can see what's going around on around them before um, anybody else down on ground level can, can actually see. So seeing the bigger picture, maybe seeing the um, situation for what it really is, possibly seeing someone for who they really are, in the same time, it may be in a good way, it may not be in a good way, so, but um, it can work both ways. Moontology, Scorpio, you get the new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. Okay, so yeah, you're putting in that hard work and it's finally starting to pay off. You may be seeing the big picture, starting to see those results for that hard work that you're putting in towards something there. Beautiful. Wow, this is a bit of a mix up here, or well, not a mix up, mix, mishmash is that the word? Overall though, the universe, divine timing, things are turning in your favour in the background here, happening for you as they should do. Um, if it's meant to be, it will be, and um, yeah, that universe overall for the week, love that, beautiful. Your hard work is paying off with that um, new moon in Capricorn. Boom, it's, make, it's helping you along there. Past energies, you've got the Nine of Wands, Six of Cups and the King of Swords. You may have overcome all these hurdles and obstacles to get onto solid ground and starting to use your head over your heart. Level-headedness, level clear thinking about where you want to be going towards. Um, Six of Cups it could be the butterfly in your tummy's feeling, wanting that playful energy back, fond memories of the past. It may also be reconciliation card, an ex may be trying to come back and you may be using your clear level level-headed thinking and saying uh, uh no way and others of you may be actually saying yeah okay we have overcome all these hurdles we can try this again and um, but this time using your head over your heart with that thinking there present energies you've got the sun the two of swords and the ace of swords so getting that sense of freedom and release um, everything's moving and happening for you beautiful energy for some reason you still feel at a crossroads unable un, unable to see which path to take taking that blindfold off to check each path out clearly of where you want to be heading towards you've got the ace of swords cutting the crap out from the past that you don't need in order to make this fresh new beginning this brand new start clear honest open beginning then your future energies wait for the clarifications because you've got the deceiver the eight of swords and the three of swords so there's still some sort of negative energy that is hanging around it's possibly an addiction maybe coming back and repeat cycles maybe within maybe somebody close to you but there's some sort of negative energy that is still niggling away in the background there 
okay and there's also the eight of swords and the three of swords you've been through a third party situation possibly whether that's personal whether it's at work um, it's caused a lot of hurt a lot of you know broken heart heartache and you feel like there's no way forward no further movement forward happening here but um, taking that blindfold off finding other ways around things see the bigger picture with giraffe spirit find other ways around things and continue the journey because it just may take a little longer to get to where you're going but at the same time um, don't let these obstacles pop up and block you completely off part, off course of where you're wanting to go towards and bearing in mind you have got this universe in the background things are happening for a reason and um, and it will happen as as it's meant to be so we will clarify each of these cards but it is a, as I said a bit of a mishmash for the underlying but um, hopefully this clarification can sort this out okay so we start with the universe overall for the week All right, with that reading down there brilliant to have that card or that energy happening around you for the week so I love that part so the universe you get page of swords three of swords queen of cups yeah ready to clear the air over this broken heart whatever this um, broken heart has come from ready to clear the air bring this on let's heal this heart now and there's loving nurturing energy there to help with that with the queen of cups bringing some stability into the emotions there and um, you know things may still be rocky around out here but um, you're proud of how far you've come emotionally so past energies nine of wands you get the judgment six of cups and the king of cups you go into the six of cups next so as i said possible reconciliation possible um wanting that butterflies in your tummies feeling again but um there's love and stability there's control of the emotions and um, with that king of cups and keeping an open mind don't judge others but don't let them judge you either it does work both ways and you are keeping an open mind possibly towards this reconciliation um, six of cups that you have there you've got the ace of pentacles nine of cups king of pentacles beautiful brand new start brand new successful beginning here comes out with inundated with success getting control of finances all the success and abundance that is happening with that king of pentacles and there is love and happiness here it's for the taking in this nine of cups and um, may give you that successful outcome there that you're wanting maybe seeing that bigger picture in a more positive way king of swords you get the knight of pentacles death card six of wands beautiful okay patience is a virtue but patience is required there is this victory here and it may still be happening may still be this universe may still be um working it's magic for you in order to come out with this victory because it's very slow moving energy with that knight of pentacles could be dealing with a scorpio that's your card and um but the death card love it releasing everything that's not needed and starting something moving forward into something brand new so love that getting that sense of victory there so we go into present energies the sun you've got the ace of swords nine of wands ten of wands yeah there's what you're moving into this brand new beginning here with the ace of swords again cutting out the crap because you have that over here in your present energies as well and going for this brand new honest open beginning that burden that feeling that you've been carrying this weight on your shoulders is finishing you've overcome all these obstacles um, and now realize okay I may not have to do this on my own this journey might not be um, needed to be done on my own so that cycles finishing and clarifying the Sun yeah sense of freedom and release and all the happiness things are starting to fall into place beautiful 
two of swords you get the king of swords the emperor and the ten of pentacles beautiful again level-headed thinking um logical logical here very strong masculine energy um very brave and courageous and confident determination with that emperor card there could be dealing with an aries and and determined and using that head over your heart to gain that ten of pentacles success so love that Ace of Swords, you get the Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Okay, having that vision, but knowing that you do have to move towards it, it won't just come and land in front of you. Um, you something you're still hanging on to, you're not wanting to let go of something just yet. It may even be not letting go of someone. For some of you, you're wanting some balance to come back into play back into the situation yeah. you know you've had that ten of wands there you may feel like you're doing all the giving and there's no taking happening um, except from the other party so yeah if you do all the giving and no taking it means someone else is doing all the taking and no giving so you may have that sense of energy there um, with the six of pentacles but you're wanting this brand new beginning and you're wanting this brand new beginning to be honest and open and balanced your future energies so we've got the deceiver with the page of pentacles two of pentacles king of wands there's someone here who wants to make this offer to make a successful go with you bring control back to a situation bring some balance back into play um, you've got that confidence and determination and getting control of um, where you want to be heading towards and that may help break up that devil energy break those chains free by knowing where you want to be heading towards getting balance and control of the situation and um, may take teamwork with that page of pentacles there but that may very well be moontology your hard work is paying off hard work to break that um, devil energy up there so eight of swords you get the seven of cups queen of swords ace of cups there's a lot of options here on offer take time Look at each one carefully and choose what's right for you. You know, Eight of Swords, we talked about finding other ways around things if needed. Maybe taking that different approach towards something or someone, possibly when it comes to love. That Queen of Swords, um, it's almost like she's saying, now look here, <laughs> with the hand like that. Look here, this is what's happening. And um, But knowing that all these options are available to you and not to be overwhelmed by them and... Make the options and choices that work for you. And you finish with this Three of Swords, with the Nine of Swords, the World, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, this broken heart has caused a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of overthinking, a lot of stress and anxiety here. But again, the World, you've got the Universe overall for the week, same card. Things are happening for a reason, and... Um, you know you're coming out of this though it's turning in your favor there's that emotional loss and grief that you are going through whatever's come from this three of swords this broken heart has caused a lot of emotional loss and grief but finally realizing maybe there's other loving energy around you there got that new love here with that ace of cups and you have got all these choices and options available to you and um yeah knowing to look at those can help heal that broken heart and that emotional loss you're going through there but again this world is turning divine timing it's there for a reason and happening for a reason and um, sometimes we don't always know the reason but you know a few months or a few years down the track it'll be like ah, that's why that was like that but Scorpio we'll see what we've got for the from the universe Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords. There's movement happening here. There's movement forward. Love it. Proud of your achievements. Proud of your successes. Quite protective. You've worked hard to come how far you have. Getting control of the situation. Could be dealing with a cancer. Getting that Chariot moving. Movement forward happening. Movement with that Six of Swords. Possibly in secret for some of you. But your hard work is paying off with Moontology. And now you're able to maybe move forward here with that chariot and the six of swords both being movement cards beautiful so scorpio we finish with the star temple oracle one card please a 
we'll take one because we might be here for a while shuffling <laughs> okay love it you get number 15 the awakener rise out of the ashes i rise like the golden sun i love this card because it talks about the shit and the crap that you've been through in the past and it's like and how you come out of it at the other side rising like the golden sun and um, you as I said you've got the world and you've got the universe here in this reading things are happening for a reason but you can come out of this um, beautifully with that rising like the golden sun and rising seeing the bigger picture rising is talking about lifting up or the height and it's like you've got the ultimate height here with giraffe spirit so Scorpio love that that's what I have for you do hope it helped if you click that like and subscribe button down there and thanks for watching I'll see you all next time see ya bye